What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, True. It's June 24th. It's the Yeezy 350 Boost re-release, restock. I got that phone call from Finish Line in Orlando. Gotta make the flight. Well, drive, really, up to Orlando. Hour and a half, got to 10 a.m. Not sure why they do it so early. I'm really not a morning person, but your boy is up. Anyway, today is also your boy's birthday. I turned 21. Okay, really not 21. I turned 33. Turn 33 today, you know what I'm saying? I've been stressed out about it this week, but this is a this is the shoe that I really, really want. So I hope that it makes me feel better. So it's kind of like a happy birthday to yourself, to myself, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, been 33 years, been rocking this do rag for 33 years, and your boy still ain't got no waves. But it's all right, I guess I don't have good hair. Anyway, we're gonna do a vlog. I'm not gonna review the shoe that much. Probably show you guys it just to, just to show y'all that it is authentic, legit, that it ain't no fake one or whatever. I will show y'all it, but man, Y'all have seen this shoe before, but I'm super excited. Missed out on the first time. Um, we also want to talk about the resale, stuff like that. So you guys stay tuned. Hope you enjoy this vlog. Man, my room is a mess. Shout out to the Lakers, Lonzo Ball. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm a Lakers fan, so I think he's going to do well. You guys let me know. Y'all think I, he's going to do well or not, but... So what shoe am I going to rock today? So I, I, I hear a lot of people say, got a friend that says, that whenever you go do the pick up Yeezys. Hold on, let me turn this around. That whenever you go pick up Yeezys, you should be wearing uh, Adidas or some type of Jordan. I mean, uh, Yeezy or some type of Adidas shoe to pick up Yeezys. What y'all think about that, man? I don't think that's right. So, anyway, we're going to see what I'm going to rock today. I'm thinking about rock, rocking some J's, man. So, I guess I'm going to be breaking a couple of laws. So, we'll see what happens. So y'all already see that I went with some J's, so I guess I'm breaking the law. But anyway, got to get my coffee. Can't go nowhere without it. Started that new habit, drinking coffee. My charger. And of course, my Fitbit Charge 2. Count my steps to being healthy. Well, actually, I mean, how many people really that's fit to wear the thing? We count our steps to like Burger King or like Wendy's or something. But anyway, I'm going to count my steps. At least I know I'm going to, at least I know I'm counting steps in the process of eating the food that I want to eat. But anyway, hop in this car and get this shoe. Y'all stay tuned. Now, people that walk every morning, I might have to start joining them, man. I'm getting to that age. Well, I might need to be walking, man. Getting to that age, man. Talk to me, talk to me, tell me what's on your mind. So, um, headed to Orlando, about an hour and 20 minute drive, something like that, to pick up these shoes. But I kind of want to talk to you guys really quick. Um, about this resale thing. So the original resale when these shoes dropped back um, about, about three, four months ago, I don't know the exact month, I forgot, but I know I missed out on them. Um, only they were very limited, only a, a few dropped and the resale was between 12 to, I seen some up to three Gs. So um, this time it's not gonna be like that. You know, there's a lot, a lot more out there, a lot more for us to, available for us to get. Um, they, it wasn't as many as the core white ones that dropped, but it's, it was kind of like as many as the, the bread V2s that dropped. So it was kind of like in between there. So it wasn't really hard to um, cop. If you really, really wanted the shoe, you just had to um, kind of go out there and do all the raffles and get the head starts at all the locations. If you were in the Adidas area, just sign up for that, all that stuff. But I'm just looking on StockX and all these other places, and the resale looking to be about between 500 and about 650 um, for a size that's eight and a half, well eight all the way up to about 12, about 12 and a half to 13 was like 700, 
probably just because it's a big shoot. Um, so those people with those with feet that big, that be you know pay a little bit extra to get them. But um, sizes five to about six and a half, it was like 900, 980 bucks. But um, I don't know, man. So if you if you're in it for the resale thing, um, the best advice I could give you is probably you probably want to hold on to them for a little while because what I'm assuming is going to happen is everybody's going to buy them, they're going to rock them, they're going to beat them up. And for those people that still, that's, that's going to miss out this second time, because I've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram saying that they caught another L, um, you will, they, if they really want the shoe, they're going to pay the money for it. So if your pockets ain't hurting and dropping 220 a day um, don't hurt you and you don't mind doing that and you can hold off a few months to sell the shoe, I recommend that's what you do if you want to get the best bang for your buck. Probably be around 800 I'm going to assume. But I don't think we're going to see the 1200 to 1300 again. They're not going to be like the turtle doves, in my opinion. Or maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think it'll be like the turtle doves and drop again. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, we're going to see what happens um, for me to get this shoe real quick. And like I said, I'll show you guys um, what they look like when I get them. But pretty much the same shoe. It's just uh, a restock, and your boy gonna have a pair. You know what I'm saying? So y'all stay tuned. Man, hey. Is it me? Is it me? Or does DJ Cali always have bangers? This is the only man that I know that can put anybody, that can combine like eight rappers with different styles and two singers and some ba some bass drummers and a pianist and all this other and still get a hit, man. He's talented. I can't even front, but yeah, he, he be having some bangers, though. Beauty, I can turn into my wife. Hate the means forever, ever, hold him, never mind. Oh, I spy with my little eye. So, I mean, is this music nowadays? Is it like, is it worth listening to? I mean, we got I spy with my little eye. I mean, I think the beat is nice, but I don't know, man. The Tupac movie dropped, so a lot of us old heads were looking forward to that. And we was, uh, I guess a lot of people disappointed. I actually haven't seen the Tupac movie yet, so maybe you guys can let me know down in the comment section was it good or not. But I don't know, man, I'm just listening to this music nowadays, and it's like the beats and stuff are dope. The lyrics are not worth listening to. But, I mean, does that justify a nice track nowadays? Because uh, if I hear one more time, um, what's the name of this song? If I hear one more time, um, Kodak Black song. That Kodak Black. I nah, 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 like that so you're winning. Uh, oh, don't, it sound like he crying. It sound like this man is in pain. Like, why do we? Why are we paying this man? It was like number one on the radio the other, the other day. And I just every time I hear this song, like, I feel like he's just suffering. So I, I, I don't get the music nowadays, you know. But hey. I'm just a sneaker guy, not the music guy. I just listen to what I like to listen to. Hey, listen to what you want to listen to, but you can miss me with that. No, I want to see me winning. I, yeah, no. I can't even sing and I sound like the dude. It's not hard. One more thing I would like to talk to you guys about on this trip um, as we go pick up these Yeezys. So the NBA draft happened. Yeah, it seems like I've never seen the NBA turned upside upside down so much over a team. It seemed like the Warriors put together what they put together. You know, say what you want to. We can feel how we want to feel about Durant making this decision. He's a champion now, so salute to the champ. But teams are in panic mode. I've never seen. I'm 33, and I've never seen in my 33 years that. Like, a team shake up the NBA so much. Everybody's scrambling, trying to get their super teams and stuff like that. You know, some people say it's LeBron's fault these super teams got created. You know, I'm not going to get off into that. But um, I just want to talk about the draft that happened. Um, I feel like this year's rookie um, class is going to be awesome. Um, you know, I'm super excited. I'm a Lakers fan, die hard, even though we've been trash since Kobe left. Well, even when Kobe was there the last two years, we was kind of trash but you know whatever 
but I, 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 a lot of people got mixed feelings about Lonzo. I think I think Lonzo gonna be legit, man. You know, people don't like the fact, fact that Magic said that Lonzo is the face of the organization. You know, but you got to give these young cats encouragement. Magic ain't a rookie. He knows what he's doing. I feel like we got the right people in, in management positions. I feel like he's going to be dominant. It's going to be one or two things. You know, Kobe's going to be working with him. So he has everything he needs to be successful. So either he's going to be extremely good really fast or he's going to be a complete complete bust really fast. So it ain't no in-between. Ain't no, ain't no gray areas. It's just like it's either that. Either he's gonna be in the trash can or out of the trash can. That's it. So um, the comments were made that he was gonna take him straight to the playoffs. I do feel like the core is still young. Um, I hope he does do that, but the West is kind of deep, so I don't see him doing that. But um, if they, if we land Paul George this year, and if he's legit about saying that he's gonna come there, then if we do land him this year, then yes, yes, they will make it to the. Uh, Play, they would make it to the playoffs, but it really won't be just because Lonzo. It'll be because Paul, Paul George is a monster. But anyway, man, just my thoughts. Let me know below what y'all think, man. Is Lavar? Is La, is Lavar? Is, is, is he right? Is he like a? Is he like a uh, fortune teller? He said he's saying you know they're gonna go to the playoffs with him, man. Is the guy crazy or what, man? Let me know. It's um, 9.14, so I'm a little bit early. I got the 10 a.m. to get the shoe. We're going to go up here and see what it's about. Super excited. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys the shoe a little bit. I'm just not sure how crazy it's going to be with people sitting outside waiting for them. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the, the, the same Yeezy, normal Yeezy hype, but we're about to check it out, man. So let's Supposed to be going to get some Yeezy. She's trying to get something for free. Come on, man. Come on, man. finish line I noticed that the shoe palace is coming to this mall uh, Florida Mall Orlando Florida um, if you don't know who they are make sure you go check out their Instagram Facebook and stuff like that they have a lot of exclusive joints and um, Yeezys and all that stuff so this what this pretty much means for us is, is there's gonna be another area that's gonna be having the Yeezys so as you can see the construction here it's about to happen you know it won't be long before it be up but you see it there but yeah man so s go check them out they go to the website right there shoepass.com you see the um the belugas there so just another place for us to cop so here you go you see so here we go you see the you see the line they're waiting to get them i got my raffle ticket though so we'll see what's up finish line back like I said it ain't gonna be no in-depth review or nothing like that I'm just gonna show you guys the shoe y'all seen it before y'all seen the 350 box boost on the side as you can see here these are a size 12 you know what I'm saying 220 man they wouldn't let me use my 20 20 20 dollar off ticket for whatever reason I, I mean I've used it on shoes before but she said not on releases I guess it's up to the store's discretion or whatever I don't know but anyway so, boom, you can see there. Hope everything's picking it up. Camera's picking it up. She was just very dope. Like I said, I missed it the first time. Um, bottoms of the shoe. The, the red on the side. So it's just a very dope shoe, man. I'm, I'm glad I was able to pick it up. I'm gonna show you both of them just to show you. Man, I, you know what? Why? Why did, you, why did you give us all this paper, man? I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, both shoes. You know what I'm saying? I, got a, I always get a size 12. I'm a traditional 11 and a half, but for some reason, the 12s, I, I have to get a 12 in these. My feet might be a little bit weird, but. All right, man, that's it, man. Y'all see, I got them. It's my birthday. Super excited. As, as a matter of fact, I got two pairs, so I'm gonna go to Sarasota and get the second pair. 
And uh, I don't know, man. I'll probably sell those. I'll let y'all know how much I sell them for. Uh, might sit on them for a, couple, a little while, but who knows? All right, y'all, stay tuned. Them hard, I should cop me a pair. Jordan ain't the only one that's an air. As I'm walking upstairs, I prefer that you follow me up there, but you still gotta know what you wear. I'm so glad I was spared, like the very last pair. When you walk into the mall and you think they ain't there, so you say a little prayer. You don't wanna be so vain, but if I get them in my hands, I'll give them the best care. Introducing a fresh new brand, following the dreams. Faith, hard work, and dedication is the means. If they fresh out the box, then you gotta keep them clean. If they're not in your walk when you step on the scene Kidnology. Hey, ain't no hey, apology hey, don't make hey, it hard man hey, it ain't trigger no all right youtube it's done i got them birthday's over well, birthday ain't over with but i got the shoes so i'm happy but this vlog is done i appreciate you guys tuning in as always make sure you hit that like comment subscribe button uh, follow us on instagram uh facebook technology twitter technology all that good stuff it's your boy truth Technology, know what you wear. There's knowledge in your walk. Look fresh, be blessed. Happy birthday to myself. I'm out.